In client mode, both the Theta V and your mobile application connect to the same Wi Fi router. This is much more convenient for your users because they do not have to connect the mobile app to the Theta V. For some users, this experience of connecting the mobile app to the Theta V can be a bit frustrating. In your mobile or desktop application development, your application will connect to the same Wi Fi router that goes out to the internet. The Theta V will connect to the same router. For some applications, this is a much more convenient way for your users to send commands to the Theta V. You can use the same Rico Wi Fi API to send the commands. On my development workstation, I have it connected to the same Wi Fi router that goes out to the internet, and the Theta V is connected to that same router. In this case, the test router is called Netgear 23. There's a GitHub repository in the link below with some simple Python scripts. The first script finds the IP address of the Theta V, in this case, 10.0.0.3. You'll need to add that IP address into the second test script, as well as change the camera identification. When you develop your application, you'll combine these two steps into separate modules. To test the script, first change the IP address that is identified with the constant theta underscore URL. Make sure the constants for theta ID and theta password are set for your specific camera. Go back to the terminal and run the script. The Python script will connect to the Theta V and first show information. This gives you confidence that you are accessing the API of the camera. Next, go back to the script and uncomment the line to take a picture. At the bottom of the file, there is a function that's commented out, uncomment it, and run the script again. Now, when you run the script, it will take a picture. You can use these concepts of digest authentication to build your own mobile app or desktop application.